Fields died in 1946, from an alcohol-related stomach hemorrhage, on the holiday he claimed to despise, Christmas Day. He died at Los Encinas Sanatorium, Pasadena, California, a bungalow-type sanitarium. According to Carlotta Monti's memoir published in 1971, as he lay in bed dying, she went outside and turned the hose onto the roof, to allow Fields to hear for one last time his favorite sound falling rain. According to the documentary W.C. Fields Straight Up, his death occurred in this way, he winked and smiled at a nurse, put a finger to his lips, and died. Fields biographer James Curtis says the story is unlikely, and is uncorroborated by the obituary in the Pasadena Star News and its sources in the hospital. Fields was 66, and had been a patient for 22 months. His funeral took place on January 2, 1947, in Glendale, California. Fields' will, written in 1943, directed that he be cremated immediately upon death, but this order was delayed when Hattie and Claude Fields objected on religious grounds. They were successful in contesting another clause in Fields' will that left a portion of his estate to establish a W.C. Fields College for Orphan White Boys and Girls, where no religion of any sort is to be preached. After litigation concerning this and other provisions of the will, Fields was cremated on June 2, 1949, and his ashes interred in the Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery, in Glendale.